Okay, so this is the jack that came with the motorhome. It is a scissor jack, so you just turn this and it pushes that up. There's a locating pin for fitting uh, underneath. That you, there's a hole there specifically for this to go into and a reinforced bit on the, the bulkheads. And the problem with this is uh, I had to use this in an emergency a while back for uh, we got a flat tire. Now it does do the job, it does it pretty well. I mean, I was quite amazed that it got it up, but it's incre it does not feel safe. It really doesn't feel safe at all. It's incredibly wobbly. It, it was just, it was horrendous. It was actually a horrendous job getting the tire off. Um, you know, I was worried about it collapsing. Actually, you know, even though it's probably, you know, it's probably absolutely fine. Uh, I was really worried about this just being not up to the task. So I've done some research on the forums again. I've been digging deep and looking at various things, and, and a lot of people are using or recommending a, a bottle jack which is quite a compact a wee jack which will with a, a telescopic arm which which will reach uh, big enough to actually get the motorhome off the ground that's a problem with the motorhome it sits so high off the ground that um, most jacks are useless uh, especially bottle jacks so you need one with an extended an extended uh, range so i done a wee bit of research and I found a 5 ton uh, telescopic jack which which they call a high lift uh, jack and it's a 5 ton and I thought that that's absolutely ample. And I think it's about £60 on their site, um, I'll leave some links down below, you can check it out. Um, but when I was on their site I noticed for an extra fiver <laughs> You could get a, a 10 ton jack and it was smaller, it was actually, uh, it started from a lower point and, and went to a, a higher distance. So I thought that range would be more uh, suited to what I was needing it for. So I decided to go with the 10, ja 10 ton jack, which is mental, it's really way over the top, but uh, I did purchase it. So this is it in here, it looks like that. So I've got my old scissor jack, this is a new jack. So it's got these sort of clipped together to give you um, an excess, so you can reach under the, under the van. So it's like that, just clips in here and then you can start bumping it up. Uh, now, now this is a monster, I shouldn't really have it on the table, I'll be scratching it to death, I'll not move it. So this this is a 10 ton, now it goes from, whatever that is, 20, 200, 210 millimetres to 520 millimetres, which is quite a, quite a distance. So this can actually get the wheel off the ground um just been on one of the cross members underneath the motorhome so it can actually pump it up so what that allows me to do is then have my axle stands on the parts where the the, uh, the jack would normally go which are a bit lower so that allows my axle stands to be more stable if i'm working on on the on the, the actual motorhome so this thing will push it right up. I mean, it's amazing how, how far up this will go. It's It took me a while to work out how to get, because it, it does push up to about 480, but then there's an extra, there's an extra few mil that you can get out of it. And, and that's from here. You just twist this up before you start. It took me ages to work this out. Um, but you just uh, undo that. It gives you a whole extra part. That's a max there. So, and then you've got the addition of how big the actual hydraulic bit is itself. Uh, these are hydraulic. Um, they've got, I think they've got a lifetime guarantee. But the thing is about it is the stability of this when, when I'm jacking it up. It takes ages to, 
don't get me wrong, it, it's like when you're moving that arm up and down, it takes forever. It takes quite a long time to pump it up, but once it's up, it, it's incredibly solid. It really feels, this thing is not, you know, it's not going to fail. It really feels solid. In an emergency situation, you're going to be glad you've got this. So anyway, this is uh, definitely worth looking into. It's a uh, uh, bottle jack from SGS. It's got a 210 uh, millimeter to 520 millimeter uh, height that it will jack up. On the scissor jack, when we were uh, getting the tire off with the scissor jack, I was sweating. It's such hard work. You're really, really working to get that scissor jack up. Um, this thing, you hardly even know you're lifting the, the, the camper van up. It's as if it, that there's no weight on it whatsoever. You can feel it gets a wee bit stiffer once the, the weight of the body comes onto it. But you wouldn't even know you were jacking it up. It's really just like fresh air. You just move this handle. That, in fact, this feels like the heaviest part of the whole operation. Getting this into position can take a wee bit of wangling because it's so heavy. When your motorhome's sitting on it, you're pretty glad it's it's heavy and it's heavily built, it's solid, it's absolute, it's just a big chunk of metal. I think I can retire the old scissor jack now, um, which which I did think was quite heavy and hefty until I lifted that one and then I was like, yeah, that's too light. This one is a bee's knees. 10 ton might be a bit overkill, you could go for the 5 ton one, no problem. That's all I've got to say in the matter. Um, that's just... That's just my opinion, of course. Um, you might have a, a different opinion. Um, if you're working on your motorhome, of course, you need axle stands. You don't want to be relying on just a jack. So, um, bear that in mind. Uh, if you're just changing a tyre, this thing, absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm finished here. Okay, I'm going to show you where you jack these up from. Um, Again, sorry about the noise, it's like I'm living next to a leaf blower test centre. Um, <laughs> I'm actually next to a golf course, so there's always a lot of machinery going across it, but um, yeah, it's mad. Anyway, this is the passenger side of my, an our van, so it's the right hand side of the van, which is normally the driver's side. So, under here, if you look under the front wheel, Run a bit here. If you look under there, this part with a hole in it, that's where the scissor jack should go. So that's the part that you want to jack up from. So I'm going to get our jack and jack it up and show you how that goes. Okay, I think you can see what's going on here. Um, right. Want to put your poles together, uh, and there's a wee notch at this side. Um, so you just want to put that onto this wee release valve here. There's a wee valve there. Just, that's how you let it down. You unscrew that so that that notch should fit on here. There you go. And just yeah, so that's it tight. So it's ready, ready to lift. I'm just going to push that in. So this is a hydraulic hydraulic jack. Right. I'm hitting, hitting off there. But basically the weight of the you see it's, it's starting to move in there. But actually the weight of this pole is what's jacking it up. It's, a, it's no effort at all. It's really like, like fresh air. Now what I found with this is that the, the middle piece comes up here and it actually is enough to actually start jacking the uh, the motorhome up but the outer one's got to be the one that comes up to give it the strength so you need to be careful of that so I'll just I'll show you what I mean so you just do this as I say it's no, it's no effort I'm just lifting that up weight of the poles coming down. So 
it's almost touching, I'm just getting it right in the middle of the, the jacking point now. That's it actually touching now. Again, still nothing, I can feel it actually pushing the, it's actually pushing it up a little bit. And the second ring's coming out. Now the second ring has to be all the way extended before it will lift it up to height. Now what I was finding was before that it was pushing it up even before the second ring was out. So I've got to make sure that second ring's up. So the second ring's coming up now. You can see the, the first one sort of slipping a wee bit. Once the second ring is all the way out, then it'll start lifting up the camper van. Look, nearly there. It just sort of slides over it. That's all you're doing, just for Again, the force is absolutely like I'm just two fingers here. There is no force, virtually no resistance. So the outer, the outer. Um, I don't even know what you call these things. Um, Part of the telescopic jack is now the one that's pushing it up and then the inner one will come out second, that's the one that goes up second. You just need to be careful that it is the outer one that's out, otherwise it will slip. Ah, right, so now I can feel it. That's it starting now. So it's now starting to lift. Starting to lift the home. That's it going. Again, I am like two fingers. A wee bit more resistance now. All the way up to that point, absolutely nothing. And even now, it's like, I mean, you can push it down with one finger if you want, you know. It's absolutely nothing is happening. Turn it around a wee bit more, you'd probably get a better view of what's happening with the tyre because it's beginning to lift off the ground. Let's see the weight's coming up. See, this thing is solid, it just feels solid. This is the most resistance. I mean, you're still talking one finger. One finger resistance. You could not do that with a scissor jack, that's for sure. And that's the tyre coming off the, off the floor now. That's it coming off the ground now. That's it. to max that out. It'd be well off the ground. You take that as high as you like. There you go. Easy as that. You can see miles off miles off the ground. Now to release this, you just use that wee this wee bit again, put it on this part here which releases the pressure and then just unscrew it and you can really you can really just do it so gradual if you want or just bring it right down. There we go. And that is it. Yep. 
that's it ready for the next thing. Easy as that, it is so unbelievably easy that it's actually a joy to change these tyres now. <laughs> if you can believe that. Thank you.